just an RPG. An artist who spent the last 16 years terrorizing the internet with his Pokemon poop artwork. A man with a hamburger stapled to his bedroom wall. A cautionary tale of Asperger's obsession and unchecked internet access. What really makes him special is the unbelievable amount of art that he's made around his fantasy, unintentionally making him one of the most accomplished outsider artists on the internet today. But why does his name strike fear into the heart of forum users everywhere? Why does he make this stuff? And why has nobody been able to stop him? These are the life and times of the Pokemon Poop Picasso. Today's art history lesson, outsider art, Vor, and how to use Microsoft Paint for evil. It all went down sometime around 2008. Just an RPG, known also as Moltres Writer, first appeared on the scene on the adult forum website Eka's Portal. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But since his initial appearance, Justin has generated hundreds of mixed media artworks featuring himself in perilous situations where he is forced to consume the bodily waste of legendary Pokemon and his beloved wife, Reshiram among many other things. But what truly brought him recognition was his absolutely absurd art style. It was like nothing anyone had ever seen. Because lacking any formal training, Justin managed to achieve cult status by spamming his artwork absolutely everywhere and inundating any forum that would possibly have him with endless questions about what it might be like to be eaten by dragons. And while this may seem like bad art to an outsider, Justin RPG actually developed a very sophisticated design vocabulary. All of his pieces use photos of himself, PNGs of Pokemon or other characters that he likes, and background imagery seemingly selected at random, all compiled in a collage. It's actually very formulaic. And at a glance, it might seem random, but he has a prolific body of work, and it becomes pretty easy to tell a Justin RPG original. And we know that because of his two-decade-long terror campaign on every forum and Facebook group he's ever been in. What the hell? Oh my god! No. So about that forum. Eka's Portal is a gathering place for vorophiles, or people who deeply enjoy the idea of consuming or being consumed by a person or creature. This is among the more common types of adult artwork that you might find on a place like DeviantArt, and one that appeals very strongly to our main protagonist. But the thing about Justin is that his fetishes are seemingly endless. The list includes vor, being shrunken, being unborn, which is exactly what it sounds like, and a thing that I literally can't say on YouTube, so I'm just going to play you this clip. Even the poo poo comes out, the other poo poo is out, huh? and then they eat the poo poo. From 2008 to 2012, Justin was a menace. He would go on all sorts of Pokemon Facebook groups and derail people's role playing in the comments by randomly bringing up his fetish. He would open so many threads on family friendly Pokemon forums talking about eating their sh that mods had to step in to personally remove his ability to do so. He wrote so many meandering, endlessly long captions about living inside Reshiram's stomach that he was able to recycle one for an assignment in his English class, and then posted it to the internet. So what's actually going on here? Before we get into the deep art lore, you need to understand that Justin has Asperger's syndrome, and we know how the internet can be with people on the spectrum. Justin suffers a diminished capacity to understand what is socially appropriate, and kind of like Chris Chan, he doesn't understand not to feed the trolls. Now, obviously many people on the spectrum are perfectly functional and nothing like this guy, but due to the nature of his disability, this is largely gonna be a discussion of him as an artist and not as a person. 2012, the beginning of widespread exposure for Justin's artwork. Just the previous year, in addition to his Microsoft Paint collection, he had also taken an interest in making music. But 2011 came and went, and his four self-published albums lived in relative obscurity until YouTuber Cool As Hell Robot reposted his song, Stuck In Lugia's Stomach Alone. And this may be really hard to believe, but this is a parody of Stuck In The Middle With You. I have an idea, Lugia eat me. So I'm stuck in Lugia's stomach alone. Yes, I'm stuck in Lugia's stomach alone. I'm seeing what it's like to be in a stomach. It's fascinating stuff. And this set into motion a terrible chain of events. Justin received a wave of exposure that would be the first of many and ultimately end up in a death hoax. 2013. He now had a relatively active Kiwi Farms thread and an Encyclopedia Dramatica page competing for who could humiliate him the most. But he was undeterred. He continued to endlessly spam questions on forums and on Reddit which were negatively received due to their irrelevant and bizarre nature. He would continue creating literature as well, ranging from such pieces as The Great Moltres Rider to the much more forthcoming Kayla Eat Poop. 
And you might be wondering, if he has a disability this profound, where are his parents? Whether his mother simply did not know or did not care, Justin found himself in a position of unlimited internet access, which only fueled his obsession. 2016, he had by now amassed a cult of personality of horrified, intrigued onlookers. His Facebook page filled and filled with artwork on the daily, and his specialty, long meandering captions that described in excruciating detail the situation he was in. Here are one of the few safe for work samples that I still had to edit. My wife Reshiram swallowing me. Reshiram feels all warm inside and feels love because she is swallowing her husband. She likes the idea of swallowing the one she loves and is enjoying every second of it. She knows I will go to her stomach and face digestion, but it pleases her to swallow her lover. She enjoys swallowing me. That is her favorite part of Vor, swallowing her husband. She identifies as a pred. By this point, you might be thinking to yourself, this is pretty standard internet weirdo stuff. Yeah, it's a guy with a weird fetish and he makes art about it. What makes this artwork? You would be shocked at how deep that rabbit hole actually goes. If you don't know, outsider art is a term that originated in 1940s France meant to describe art made by people in psychiatric institutions, by children, or by people who had limited to no contact with civilization. And what those categories have in common is that they are very obviously artwork, but created by someone who doesn't have the capacity to know what that means. This isn't to call Justin stupid or unskilled, but to demonstrate that he is a true outsider artist, someone with no training who nevertheless produced a huge, consistent body of work. In his case, he's a multimedia artist who dabbles in digital art, music, and literature. And while it's hard to draw the line at where a hobby ends and artistic pursuit begins, the mind-blowing amount of work that he's made might make him one of the most prolific outsider artists on the internet right now. And what's crazier still is that I suspect that he doesn't view any of this as art at all. To him, it's just this raw expression of this thing that he really likes but he's infamous for a good reason. And the deeper problem with his fantasies is that he's recently expressed a desire to make them happen in real life. And the beginning of his truly degenerate arc would be a death hoax. October 6th, 2017. Twitter user Amontet in a now deleted tweet announced that Justin RPG is in fact alive and well. While the events preceding this are completely lost to time, users in their replies seemed split as to whether they thought this was a good thing. Because by 2017, his output had slowed considerably, leading some to speculate that he had died and many others to forget about him entirely. But he would continue to post art, haunting whatever forums had not already banned him, and his posts would soon take on a darker character. While people were just content to point and laugh, in 2021, he made a Reddit post asking about the legality of doing something with a Bengal tiger. Now, granted, the chance of him encountering a Bengal tiger in real life and it not mauling him immediately are slim to none. But this was a notable departure from the purely fantasy element of his previous posts. And he is really, really active on Reddit these days. In 2023, he made a post inquiring as to why bird waste has a very particular flavor. And also that year, on a much more serious note, he made a post in which he openly referred to himself as the Z word. And the problem with so-called horror cows like this is that when they don't receive real life intervention, they fail to make a distinction between the reality of their situation and what they're posting online. And they can be a huge danger to themselves, to others, to animals. It's all fun and games until something happens. A YouTube personality called Chris Chan has just been arrested in Virginia on, of all things, incest charges. And that brings us to today, because there hasn't been much activity on the Justin RPG front. He does still post on Facebook and he makes new art pretty regularly, but there's no indication as to what he's doing in real life. So what is this artist up to these days? Justin, like many traditional locales, documents his every waking thought and desire, and wherever he falls behind, Kiwi farmers and others keeping tabs on him will pick up the pace. And as for the artwork, he's still making it, and it hasn't changed one bit. Forum culture is largely dead these days, and I can't imagine Imagine that there are many remaining from which he hasn't already been banned. But where there's a will, there's a way. And Justin RPG continues to obliviously blaze new ground in the world of outsider art. Love him or hate him, his body of work, much like his Pokemon wife, is legendary. This has been an art history lesson. It's so hard to keep the smile from my face. Losing control, Pokemon being eaten. I'm in a stomach to see what it's like. Here I am, stuck in Lugia's stomach alone. Well, it ain't right to eat a Pokemon, so I let the 